What's poppin' today? I hope you had a great day today. I hope you're having a great night right now, if it's night for you when you're watching this. I hope you have a great time wherever you're at. Whatever time it is, doesn't matter because we're all experiencing this right now. This is my present as I'm making this and you're watching this in my past. So this is your future for me. It's pretty trippy to think about. But I just wanna say, life is your personal playground. You get to do whatever you want. Like, really? You get to do whatever you want. You choose what to do. Now, I mean, there's illegal, there's things that are illegal, you know, according to some people who just made up some rules. <laughs> like, we have to follow those. But you get to do whatever you want. I'm making some spinach for some dinner. I mean, you get to do what you want. In the sense that if as long as you allow your mind, the, if you give yourself the permission to do what you want, if you don't make excuses, then you get to do whatever you want. Stop telling yourself, if there is something that you want to do, right here, I want to do this. I really want to do this. Stop telling yourself, ah, oh, but I, well, that thing, that, that wouldn't work out if I didn't, if I couldn't, I, that won't. Stop. The only thing holding you back is your mind. You get to you you get to do whatever you want to do. Life is literally a video game made for you to do whatever you want. You make choices every day. Whether you think it, whether you let me turn this on. Whether you know it or not. I didn't help. Whether you hold up. I'm gonna move this because I can't cook and take a video at the same time. But, actually, hold up. Let me see if I can pause this. That's really cool. I just found out I can pause the video and, like, keep recording. But I'm gonna keep, that was just because I didn't want to make food. But I'm gonna keep making my uncut, unfiltered videos. But, what else, what was I saying? You, yes. Your life is your personal playground, right? Imagine you had your backyard and you had a bunch of things in it, like play toys. That was everything that was in your life. And you're like, this is mine. And that's like in your mind. This is mine, in your mind. In your backyard, your playground, would you let random people you didn't like come and use your stuff, use your play things, play toys? Every, like, would you let them come in and like do whatever they wanted to? You know, they could they could just trash the place and leave. Would you let them? No, you would tell them to get out of here. You wouldn't even let them in. That's the same thing with your mind. You gotta train your mind. This takes time. You gotta train your mind to not let people bother you. Not let people's, what people say, influence the way that you think. Because it ultimately, whatever they say about you has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. It's the energy that's in them is what, that they, what they can project out. What they are feeling inside is what they, the only thing that they can project out. Like when somebody's a really happy person, they are feeling like just internally, they're sitting by themselves like, like they have no worry in the world. They're sitting there and they see a random person. They're like, hey, how you doing? Like, what's going on? That's the energy that they project out onto the world because that's what they feel inside. Hmm? 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 An angry person, somebody who says something nasty to you, something really mean, that's the energy that they're feeling inside all the time, okay? So you got to remember that. Keep that in the back of your mind if you can. That what they say has nothing to do with you. And it is possible to live a day-to-day, -day, every single day life, not caring what people think. Walking through the streets without a care, literally without a care in the world. Without, because I've been there too and I'm still there. I'm still working on myself. I'm not perfect. You know, I... I remember the first time I moved into this apartment, I 
was going on a run on the road that's by the that's the road and then i was thinking like oh i'm at the, you know thinking like what do the people in the cars think about me running and then over time you know it's like that i'm thinking like that's why i'm like why am i thinking that that is a waste of like thinking time i should be just hyping myself up while i run they probably don't what i put myself in their shoes i'm driving down the road i see some dude on the side of the road i mean i'm different i go yeah nice dude like yeah they're probably you know they're either cheering you on or they are like Psh, look at this guy and like they're only upset because they aren't exercising or whatever they're not doing whatever it is if you're doing something and people are hating on you whatever you're doing it's because they're not doing it and they don't feel good about that they see you're doing something they're not doing anything they're upset with themselves because they're not doing anything so they try to put you down to make you to bring you down to their level but you don't have to stoop down to the level you don't have to mentally de-escalate down to what they feel like it doesn't have to work it doesn't have to be like that you can feel it's like hair floating in my visual field you can feel every single day like it takes time it takes a long time in practice in like meditation meditation is your most important tool to get yourself to the position where every single day you are not focused on your attention is in your head you, your attention is focused on like what you're going to do next like like what what you what goals you have you're focused on what you're grateful for. Your attention is turned to, like, focus on what you're grateful for. Focus on what you're currently doing physically in the world. Like, that is meditation. Like, oh, I'm going to pick up this blanket. I am focusing intently on picking up that blanket. Like, you know, investigating it. Keeping your focus. And I feel like keeping my focus. When I'm in the present moment, it feels like my focus is right up against my eyes. I am like, boom, like my, my focus is right here. But when I feel, when I am really in my uh, unconscious nature, it feels like my attention has sunk back into the back of my head and it feels like I go on autopilot. That's probably the best way I can just explain it and describe it. But you can train your mind. Like, I know it's, it's like when you try to meditate, you're putting your attention forward into your active engagement and like that's hard to do if you've never done it before because it's a muscle that needs to be worked out your brain is a muscle it's a like it's a thinking muscle like just how gotta flex just how you have to work out your body you have to work out your mind too just how people have to practice things like oh, learn math practice you know doing equations and stuff like that you have to practice meditation in order to get more strength, like gain more active strength in your life. Meditation is the number one, like look up. There is mindfulness meditation when you're paying attention to the present moment. And then there is, uh, I, there's a bunch of different types of meditations. There's, there's in like thousands, I don't know, infinite, whatever. And there's transcendental meditation where you, you chant a mantra over and over and over and over again. It seems redundant, but it puts you into this really low uh, brain wave frequency, I think, theta. It like puts you in the theta state, so you can, you are really in that zone, that like meditative zone. Besides the point, meditate, do that. That really trains your mind. And then you can use, jeez, I keep burping, man. <laughs> the hiccups. You can use that mental strength that you have gained through meditation and mindfulness and positive thoughts and focusing on gratitude to, if you hear something somebody says, you lit, it literally flies over your head and you do not care. You move on with your day. You hear it and you let it flow away. You don't hold on to it. Like that thought doesn't go in your head and you go, ah, dude, this guy said this to me and I can't believe it literally goes in one ear. You hear it and you're like, huh? And like, you know, sometimes I'll feel like the, the like, what the, that like, what? Like, like kind of anger bubbling in my stomach, my chest. And I just let it flow out the other side. I just, I kind of, what helps me, what I do is I kind of just, I mean, I don't, if I'm at work or something like that, you, know, you got to kind of shake it out. I kind of like. 
get myself a little like physically loosen all of my muscles like relax like oh, that helps me really not hold on to any anger and anxiety and stuff like that but anyways to make a long story short meditate you can live your life your life is a playground that's the whole what i was talking about i went on a tangent but that's okay your life's a playground you wouldn't like people you don't like coming into your area and messing all with all your stuff like especially with their muddy you know footprints like walking in your mind with their dirty footprints like you wouldn't want them you wouldn't want them to but you're actively letting them when you think about them in your in your thoughts like oh this and that but i hope you gain something from this like meditate it is your best friend it is your ultimate tool it is the key there's many keys it's not the key but it's there is many keys and that is a very 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 big important key to strengthening your mind like you can you can be invincible mentally if you meditate it's like it is a necess it is a necessity i mean i'm not a doctor i can't you know i can't say for sure but like for me at least so take what you will from this video i hope you gained something from this video if you did and you're watching this i love you and it means the world that you found this video I, you i don't know how you found this video but if you did I hope you have a great night and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.